Good morning, everyone. Welcome to my Suburban Oasis. Today I'm going to show you some of the things that I did with the items that I foraged from around the neighborhood and in my own yard and up in the Upper Peninsula. Sometimes it's just fun to use nature to make some decorations. I like to keep mine pretty simple and natural, so they might not be everybody's thing of beauty, but they are a thing of beauty to me. So I hope you enjoy this video. Let's take a look. Okay, well, we'll start by taking a look at this um, window box, which I put together. Um, I collected some pine cones, and I took some string and tied them together. And then I used that to tie them along the bottom, which was something I was trying for the first time this year. And I think it turned out pretty good. And then I also have some pine cones kind of throughout the boughs. And I believe this is con color. Um, right here in the front and that I got from a local Christmas tree farm after we got our Christmas tree and cut it they shake off all of the the uh, dead needles and then they cut off the bottom branches and throw them all in a pile and so there was a giant pile of greens that they just let people help themselves to and so that's where I got those and then also in the back is the Fraser fir the red twig dogwoods that you see spiked up in the middle there, those are from uh, up around the Upper Peninsula as well as some from my backyard. So when my uh, husband and son go to deer camp every year, I take that opportunity to do a little foraging in the Upper Peninsula where there's no one. Um, it's very rural and there are some property owners that are nearby that uh, let me go into their ditches where a lot of the red twig dogwoods like to live. And so I clip those off and bring them home and it's usually just in time for Christmas decorating. And I do have a couple of cabbages, ornamental cabbages, that are left in there. I did not take those out. Um, not sure how long they'll survive, but I thought they were just fine to leave in for now. If they do die, I may fill them in with a little bit of extra green. I did have some extra greenery left over and so I just happened to put them into uh, these pots down here which otherwise really would just be kind of looking junky and so this just gives them a little bit of a spruce up if you will haha <laughs> and then I did get that birch log right there up in the UP as well so here we have an urn that I took some of the pampas grass that I have in my yard and I cut a little bit of it just to give it kind of a little bit more interest because after I filled it with the greenery I felt like it needed something else in the center and so I think it really actually adds a nice touch to that and kind of ties it all together. What do you think? There are also some branches <clears throat> within there that have some lichen on them and those are from um, my hickory tree in the backyard that we just unfortunately had to um, have removed and um, it had a fungus and so I have a whole bunch of branches that I was able to save from there that had these beautiful lichen on them and I just think nature is so pretty. So I thought, why not use them? Over here in my entryway, I have this blank spot and it's near my front door. And it's because I have hostas there during the summer. And so I thought it would be much nicer to have some greenery here just to kind of bring some color. And when it snows, I think that will be just beautiful. And right here, I just tucked some extra greenery into this particular planter. It's a terracotta pot and then I have some hookera in there. I believe those are the Hopscotch Fun and Games by Proven Winners and then there's a boxwood in there. I also have a August Moon, I think it's called, no that's not what it is. I can't remember what it's called right now but I have a hosta in there as well that you can't see because obviously it's died back. Um, and likely the uh, kale that you see 
over in this area is also going to die back at some point this winter but for now it still looks nice so just threw some extra greenery in there along with some red twig dogwood and I think that's beautiful again I have this really cool curvy lichen covered branch from my hickory tree that I just love so I needed to put it somewhere then along here um, I usually have some pretty little annuals in this planter box but this time of year they just don't live so I brought the stones that I use um, from around Lake Superior or that I find around Lake Superior and I've just kind of placed them around here in a way that I think looks pretty it's some very nice light colors along with the hydrangea blooms and then some more of those Fraser fur right there a little birdhouse tucked in the back I have a lot of stuff on my French porch some people don't like that look um, I don't mind it and then I have a <clears throat> another planter here terracotta that I have a fern in it's one of the uh, proven winner Japanese ferns and uh, so I used the red twig dogwood along with some beech wood uh, driftwood and then some of the sticks from the hickory tree again those um, kind of twisty branches with some lichens on them along with the Douglas fir and some pine cones at the bottom then over here I have another terracotta planter which has some beautiful twisty driftwood in it as well which I believe are roots of trees that actually end up in the lake on Lake Superior and it's so cold it takes and strips all of the kind of roughness off the outside and uh, it becomes just the interior hardwood which is so beautiful and then of course behind it I have this iron planter which I um, love it's got some hydrangea blooms in it that are dried and still have some beautiful color on it along with the red twig dogwood and again some of that uh, driftwood root so when I finished out front I had a few Fraser fir branches left over and gosh I just thought that they were so pretty and I wanted to share these with you as well I almost forgot um, so these still have the ornamental cabbages in them they have these beautiful little pansies in them and then this blue just really kind of brings it all together isn't that gorgeous and then I have another one that's over here this one I'm actually losing the ornamental cabbage already so he's kind of covered up by a branch But these will look so pretty with some snow on the top of them as well so when those ornamental cabbages and the pansies kind of um, can't last anymore through our harsh winters the snow will be on top and you'll be able to see the branches sticking out uh, from under that and it will just be so pretty all right well i hope that you enjoyed seeing what i did with some of the things that i was able to bring into my home from nature and uh, enjoyed sharing this video with you. Thanks for joining me today. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up, click that like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, even click that notification bell if you wanna get notified right away when a new video is ready for you. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.